All right. So here I have a 6L80 pump. I'm getting ready to install a, uh, a shift kit on this pump. And uh, I have this three original valves. Now this valve right here, it's in good shape. If you can see this, uh, I mean, it looks in real good shape. Uh, original valve. So that's one. I have this other one that it's, it's worn out right there all the way around and then the back side is also severely well not severely worn but then i have this one that if you see this uh, the spool on this valve it's completely shiny which is almost completely gone and i hope this thing is focusing on that one probably not focusing but I mean, you get the point. And then in here, I got a, uh, a transgo valve that go, that's going to go in this pump. But I'm going to go ahead and take that out because we're going to vacuum test the other ones. And I have here, you're supposed to put, I don't have the nut, 125 thousandths of an inch nut in there. So I have this little washer and this little valve body retainer from I don't know what came out of but I mean I do a lot of a uh, correction kits and uh, so let's measure this and this is exactly 125 thousandths of an inch the washer and that uh, valve retainer so I'm gonna put this in here and let's go ahead and test first the first the first one we're gonna test is gonna be the the known good valve. Now this valve body, I mean this pump right here, it's been machined as you can see. Uh, I'm not sure what, uh, how the valve came out that was in here originally, but it had this valve, but I have a uh, Toe Pro that I'm gonna install in this unit, but, uh, and it comes with the valve and everything, so. Everything that's already in here, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just save it for another unit, and the Toe Pro I'm gonna install it here. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little bit of assembly lube here, here as well, and then I'm gonna turn on my vacuum pump. We are going to calibrate our uh, our our stand, so we want five. And then we plug the hole on the side and 25, five and 25. This, the 25 over here, it changes every day. Humidity and all that, you know, the weather and all that stuff. Uh, it, it changes almost every day. So here we have enough assembly loop to create a good seal. Check it, 25. So that's the gauge. The gauge is, it's on, it, it does come out on camera. So I'm gonna, vacuum test that port in the front and I have the the tip of the valve block so I'm gonna kind of kind of calculate it's kind of hard to see through the plexiglass but so this is the original valve we got 21 22 and a half well well wait wait I think I moved a little bit it kind of slid there we go. You got to plug the little hole on the side. So yeah, we got 22 and a half. All right. Hopefully that stays there. Let's go ahead and get this valve out. All right. I lost it. I think it's sliding away. Come on, man. Come on now. Let's snake this thing out. We're gonna put the medium worn valve in it. Let's check it and see. So we got 22 and a half on the known good one. And believe me, it's very rare to see a known good valve on this thing. Very, very rare. All right, so let's position ourselves here. And we got 15 and a half. This thing's still sliding. I don't want any any leak. You can hear the leak. It's hissing a little bit on the side through here. So I'm putting a little bit of pressure on it. 
So this one, uh, it might give you some shifting issues, some uh, shutters or whatever. Let's try this one out. Notice the gauge. Notice the gauge. This valve's all the way in. See that? It's not even registering. But I can actually toggle this valve back and forth. I can move these valves back and forth. It, it wiggles like this. That's how extremely worn this thing is. There's another circuit here. This one actually is worn from here and is worn from the back. Let me get this thing out so you guys can see how severely this thing is. It's just completely gone on the front on the middle and then a big old gas right there on the side now well, let's go ahead and put our trans a uh, known good one was what 21 and a half right let's go ahead and install our trans go but trans go like the sonic it has the long spool valve uh, uh land right here the spool is long and uh, this one actually has a hole here that goes all the way to the front so it's hollow and the Sonics one, it's just complete solid. Uh, so I'm going to have to plug this hole. I'm going to use my pick and hopefully I can plug it. And keep in mind that I have the... Uh, we're testing the worn part of the pump itself. Okay, sucked it in. It sucked it in, but... Oh. Drop my pliers. Let me try and rotate this uh, to where the hole is facing me. And you can hear the hissing. It's hissing. I'm going to get my pick in here and hopefully it'll seal it. It's not, I'm not, this pick I guess is kind of wore out. But you can see it's, it's almost the same reading as an own good valve. 20, well this one has 22. Okay, it, it moved. You move, wait a minute, what, what am I doing here? It's kind of hard to seal this with the, I don't have a straight fit. I don't know where, I don't know where it's at. So I got a 45 angle here, so it's just moving. Oh, let me check, check. Do I have a straight pick here? Nope, no straight picks. Do I have a one in good condition? Better condition than that, no, but let's try this other one. Try to plug the hole. Okay, so this one actually sealed almost the same. So there we go, we got 22. So we got 22. Now I'm gonna remove the uh whatever's on the on the front. The washer and the thing. And let's see what happens when it sucks up the uh the valve all the way in. I'm trying to seal this thing, but so it, it is the same. It is the same. So we got the new transgo valve and the uh, and the known good one are probably going to read the same. So let's get this thing out. And install the one that looks good, the known good one. In here. All right. Twenty-two and a half. Whoop. Why am I? Why am I losing it? 22 and a half. For some reason, this one is kind of... Well, there we go. 22. All right. So, they both read the same. They both read the same. So, that means that this pump is probably not that much worn. I mean, you have a little bit of clearance for the valve to move, so... We're at 22 and 25 is completely no leak at all. So we're in good shape.
Now, you know what? Let's go ahead and put this back in here. I'm going to put a spring. A spring in here. Uh, the inner spring as well. Let's put the inner spring as well. Let's test, let's test the boost valve. This is an old, old boost valve that I had that I haven't thrown away yet. Let's go ahead and put this in here. I'm not locking this thing. There we go. The spring, the booster spring has to sit there. All right, well, let's, let's test the boost valve circuit. Let's see what it looks like. All right, move it up. Let's see what it looks like. That is warm. Let me see if I can find the sheet that I've had printed out for the rest for the other testing and see what a boost valve, the minimum criteria is. Uh, let's see, pressure regulator is 18 inches. We were above, we were above 20. Boost valve assembly, 18. So we got, yeah, we got 18 and a half. So that's considered a good boost valve. Now let's get this, uh, He had this boost valve in it. Now the one that I'm installing here, it's a uh, Toy and Pro, so it's a larger, larger diameter valve on the boost valve. This is not the one that's going in here, but this is the one that he had. Let's go ahead and test this one and see what it looks like. This one, I had trouble getting it out. Okay, let's go ahead and check this loose valve. So 18 is good, it's considered good. This one has 20. So this has more wear than, than this one. All right, so this, that's a known good boost valve. I can use that on another unit. What about this uh, lockup valve? Uh, converter feet limit valve is uh, 20. Let's go ahead and, uh, actually it's easier if I just put my test plate here and uh, test it from the, uh, from the side, which that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on there. And... I mean, I'm going to use this area of the test plate to cover, cover that, cover that up, and test it from here, which I got 22 and a quarter, almost 22 and a half, which is, which is good, and I should have 20 on that valve, so that, that tests out good, TCC control valve, okay, wait a minute. That's the uh, TCC control valve. The TCC control valve should be 18 and above. And we are at 22. The converter, the converter feet limit, I need to put the uh, actuator feet limit valve on, on in here to test it because that one has a hole. Uh, but anyways, the, the thing that, I, the, the, the purpose of this video is not to vacuum test the whole thing. It was just uh, for pressure regulator valve and how they do wear. As you can see, that one is a medium worn. This is the fully worn. And right now I got the known, the known good. Or the one that looks better than all of them. And, uh, I mean, just vacuum testing. It's just as simple as it gets. It's just very, I guess it's very effective. I mean, it gives you a window of uh, visually looking at to see and what, what the hell is going on with it. I mean, you actually see the wear on the gauge, just like when you use an oscilloscope, you can see the electricity flowing through a circuit 
And with the vacuum uh, testing like this, you can actually see the wear, like you can picture it in your mind, the wear that's inside the, the bore of the valve and the valve spools as well. You know, the lands right here, these lands or valve spools, whatever you want to call them, you can actually see it on the gauge, the valve. This one is full vacuum and you can see that it would rock back and forth. This valve is no good. This one is no good either. But, I mean, that's why they, are, they got replacements. I mean, I use Transgo a lot, but, I mean, if you got something else, uh, Precision, uh, 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 not Precision, Superior. Superior makes also something for this. Sonics makes something for this. I mean, uh, it's going to be your choice, your choice. And uh, it's always a builder preference. I use Transgo a lot. I grew up with Transgo since I was young. You know, uh, building these things, you know, uh, with the C4, C6s, 400s, 350s, you know, back in the day. And I stuck with it, you know. And uh, I would use BNM also when I was a kid. Uh, that was just super aggressive. But anyways, uh, I stuck with Frango because they have a lot of fixes, not just like BNM, you know. It's, uh, I'm not saying the BNM is no good. It's good. But, I mean, it'll kick your butt real hard, you know, like on the 350s and 700s and stuff like that. But Transgo has, does that and more, you know. And Superior does that and more. And Sonics is just, Sonics is just uh, concerned to repair the original wear. But whatever, whatever you like the most, I mean, that's what you're going to use. But this is a great tool. I mean, I do recommend everybody to use something like this you know and that gives you a window and and to see what you know what the hell's going on inside the your unit all right guys well i mean this was just a basic test and i have these laying around and i mean next day, the final destinations for these valves right here uh it's gonna be the trash can so there you go you know what to do see y'all guys later